Hey guys, what's up? It's Jules here for What Culture Gaming, joined as ever by the tyrant who loves to lick my hunter. It is Josh Brown. Hello. And you might be thinking, who's this bloody mug right here? It's Benroy. Hi. And the reason that we brought him in today and not mic'd him up no. is because there's some breaking Resident Evil news. And to be honest, I can't think of a bigger fan of the franchise than you, Mr. Roy. How many of them have you played? Uh, all the good ones. Even the, the bad, bad ones. ones. Yeah, come on, we all love Resident Evil 6. Damn right we do. So we're getting very excited by the fact that there may well be confirmation on the horizon that the new Resident Evil game is going to be coming out soon because I bloody loved Resident Evil 7. Well, here's what's happening, Jules. Do you do there your is, thing. There is a program called the Resident Evil Ambassadors. This is a thing in America and it is a thing in Japan. And they have just received a notification that Capcom are looking for testers to test a new game in development from the guys who will obviously create Resident Evil that is going down in September. Which means, which could mean, you know, I'm only hypothesizing that we could get a new game next year. That's it, that's if the testing right now. If we that's did, what I'm that thinking. would be huge. Because obviously a lot of people were, being, they've been left up in the air after Resident Evil 7. It was a huge departure from the norm. It still carried with it the same sort of action spectacles we've kind of got used to from uh, 5, 6 and 7. Yeah. Um, five, 5 and 6 especially. but. Um, it was the VR thing that was a huge push. Do you think that we're going to be seeing another VR game or do you think it's going back to its roots over the shoulder camera? I think, I honestly think it might be neither. I think it's going to be Resident Evil 3 Remake. I think that's what Ooh. we're getting first. And I, I, I honestly, I, when Resident Evil 2 came out, yeah. we all loved it. We all thought it was a great return to form, but I'm actually itching for a new, for a follow up from 7. I want that VR yeah. goodness back. I want that first person goodness back because I think both can exist at the same time. I'm not sure if you guys agree. I think we can have the old school Resident Evil style yeah. in the remakes and then something new and fresh and original in it. Do you think that it's going to be a case of sort of like you'll have the uh, Infinity War and Treyarch style thing where one produces a sort of more classic Resident it's... Evil and the other one does a sort of forward thinking VR shooter style thing? Well I don't know how much uh, I review actually follow Evil VR much around on Twitter or anything. He's kind of like a guy who's leaked out Resident Evil sort of like tidbits throughout the years mm -hmm. and like he has um, put out there like internally they don't know whether to go for seven or two because okay. two dwarfed seven sales so fast and even though they they went, made this like change to go back to the horror because you know even though six is one of the best selling in the franchise people are a bit eh, about it so six is i'm just i'm swearing now for the i'm so apologies that six is dog sh Ch chills i'm Ch here i'm six. literally right six, here six is big sweaty bollocks on my face do you face. not care about edouard no <laughs> she's a legend but yeah, um, <laughs> not, in that, not in that capacity. I reckon they're going to go with the safe bet, free, you know, do free remakes, sure. just so they can test the seat. And if that one bot, like, like not bombs, so blows up, blows, blows up. up like number two did. I mean, they're just probably right. going to go that route. I, okay, let's just go through the checklist of do we think it's going to blow up? Is it one of the most successful entries in the franchise, Resident Evil Three? Yes, it is. Yes. Does it have Nemesis in it? Yes, yes it, it does. does. The thing is, with the with um, Tyrant and with uh, Mr. Mr. X, X. Like, they, they managed to prove the fact that they could get that AI of some one character stalking you all the way through. There's still a bit of work to be done. Yep. There's nothing funnier than making him stand outside <laughs> the safe room and just being like, hey, you want, you want some of this, do you? Want some of this? <laughs> well, I've got to develop my photograph. Look at this. Oh, look at that. It's your mum in a bikini. Bet you like that, don't you? Yeah, big it's, 12 prick. It's when he goes like, whoop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just goes in and out sort of thing. But I wait, I'm going to say something. I don't give a sh as long as we get Jill Valentine. So give me Jill Valentine in three, or give me Jill Valentine in eight. Two swears, man. This Sorry, is, know, this is man. making our editor work overtime. Sorry, Joe. Sorry. But th th this is the thing, like, there's so much that we could uh, dive into about Resident Evil because it needs to pick the direction it's going, not d in terms of gameplay, but if it's not the Resident Evil 3 remake, where do you go? We've already gone from, we don't even have like the viruses anymore in yeah. their classic form. We've moved to sort of, we went, uh, what was it in four? It was the- It was the mole, oh, well in four, it was the last Plagas. Plagas that mm. then and changed into Ouroboros. Yep. And then now we've got kind of the mold thing that was gone through with the whole- But that was a, that was technically one person, the mold, wasn't it? Because it was like a projection of the- she, um, she, did, she did spread it out, but they, the whole, like, all the DLCs were about mm. cleaning up area. And it seems like, new friendly umbrella did help clean that all up so it's kind yeah. of left out in the open but there are also certain things like maybe they're still a shadowy corporation but yeah they're in a weird sort of place because resident evil 7 was a success but it did 
a lot of work to kind of not undo the past mythology, but kind of brush it aside in favor of something new. But I think Resident Evil 2 Remake proves you can have those classic characters and those classic situations and the classic monsters without kind of losing a semi-serious focus. You can still make a, a scary horror game about zombies. You can still make a scary horror game about the Las Plagas or the Euro yep. Burst. It can be done. And I think Resident Evil 2 showed that. So I think for me, if we go into it, you might keep the same style. You might keep the same sort of grittiness and groundedness. But there's yeah. no saying that that's no longer incompatible with what Resident Evil's mythology is. Mm. If we'll get the same as Seven, maybe like it doesn't really reveal itself as a Resident Evil until towards the end. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It, it is the lab sort of thing. Because you think it's like weird magic stuff at the beginning. The yeah, I thought it was like Hoodoo sort of like weird um, uh, the way that they were acting and because it's like the Deep South. I thought there yeah. was going to be something entrenched in sort of mysticism in that. Mm -hmm. but it went. I was kind of glad when they then they put it back to the virus because I think it should always kind of like Bioshock. Yeah. There's always a lighthouse and there's always a big daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how he what he said, Jules. <laughs> It's good in an RE4 that we didn't get what the, the ghost man with the axe. The, oh, um, oh my god. Because there was hints that they were going to go back to like trying to bring some more supernatural elements. Fair that enough. They left away in four for this eight, but who knows really. I mean, I will be very, very psyched if they do release the Resident Evil 3 me remake, not only because I've personally thought that that was the best blend of action and horror suspense. It was cheesy as hell and I absolutely yeah. loved it, but it was the first time that we got to see the mercenaries mode in, in its full force. And Is that true? Yeah, because we, yeah. Got, cause, cause we got um the kind of, we got Hunk and Tofu doing the fourth survivor stuff, but that's not really mercenaries. Mm -hmm. The mercenaries one was like a, uh, timed points-based thing that you could use currency to then buy better weapons to make it easier for the runs yeah, and stuff like that. It was kind of added in because I think people were going to be a bit like, oh, we're going back to Raccoon City again, so mm -hmm. the same sort of timeline. But yeah, the, the whole mercenaries thing, and it was really good in four. And I feel like afterwards they just dropped the ball with it. Oh, it was good in six. <laughs> it was good actually, in actually, six. I will give you credit there. Uh, that's probably the best feature of six. Probably is, is the is the mercenaries mode. As long as you're not playing as Jake and you're not doing any kung fu crap. Yeah. Especially if you're playing with Jake and you're doing the kung fu crap. I just I feel like uh, there's a there's a brilliant video essay out there on that's the death of uh, Resident Evil, the moment that you empower your uh, protagonists way too much, and the moment that you give them this ability to do backflips <laughs> and like karate kicks and stuff like that, and All makes right, it anyway. so that they can never be sort of bested really. I mean, let them do suplex. Let the suplex is fine. <laughs> wrestling, <laughs> rest, wrestling moves are fine. Yeah. I know it seems. How like is I, that? I, that's I, a I, weird. Listen, listen, guys, I can't explain why, but wrestling moves are okay. The other stuff. Those are backflips. No. I'm doing this video with two madmen. Two <laughs> crazy people who think suplexes are okay. We're getting completely off topic, right? I, I'm going to make a prediction here. Go on then. I do think that the next game is going to be Resident Evil 3 Remake, mm -hmm. and I think they're testing it in September to release it next year. I don't think it'll be January, but I think it'll be before next-gen consoles, because I, if I was Capcom, and this is what I think they're going to do, sure. because, you know, I just make wild predictions. I think they're gonna release Resident Evil 3 next year because it makes a lot of sense. They've got the foundation there. They made two. They have a lot of the assets. Like you said, they're going back to Raccoon City. Mm -hmm. They do need to change things up. They've got Mr. X. They do need to change things up, but the foundations are there. It shouldn't take them that long to create a follow-up. Whereas Resident Evil 8 can then benefit from coming out on a next-gen system mm. and then blow everyone away with whatever new sort of approach they're going to go for. Then, that, then Capcom solidify the fact that Resident Evil is back. We've had Resident Evil 2, we've had Resident Evil 7, we've had Resident Evil 3. Get excited for the future. You can't actually do Resident Evil 4. I think that people are still yeah. too attached to it for it to have like a full-on rebranded remake because I don't think a lot of stuff would actually carry over as well. Good forward. Oh, don't get me wrong, it would be amazing if they did it with the same polish and aplomb that they've done with the uh, previous Resident Evil 2 remake, but I just feel like it's still too relevant for some reason. Mm -hmm. Whereas 3 yeah. is the perfect one to do because obviously, like you say, the assets are, are already technically there, and the game itself on the PlayStation 1 when it came out was using a lot of the assets from Resident Evil 2. That's yeah. why they only had a year turnaround to make it into something else. When was the last time you played 3? Because it's only really been released. I mean, I'm gonna say like twice properly. It's probably been out somewhere else. I played it not for a long time. I played it maybe about a year and a half ago, but that was just basically to test if the disc worked more yeah. than anything else. Because <laughs> I'm not just it's just in my collection. But I, I would love to go back and play it again. That's the thing. I think it's. I think Resident Evil 3 is one that fans obviously love. But like you said, I I haven't played it in a long time, not mm, since I was yeah. a kid. So I think it is ripe for nostalgia to kind of take hold and mm. let people sort of revisit it because they probably haven't for a long time unless you're a real diehard Resident Evil fan. 
But there we go, that is the news that according to the Resident Evil Ambassadors program that there is going to be testing for a new Resident Evil game that could potentially be launching next year. The testing starts in September, that's yes. right. But yeah, let us know what you think about it down below. Fan cast all of your favourite Resident Evil moments and how would you build the Resident Evil 8 going forward? As always, I've been Jules, this has been Ben Roy, this has been Josh. You can go follow myself at RetroJ with a zero. You can follow Ben Roy at... Ben Roy Turner. And you can follow Josh at Josh Broom with two R's. And remember, guys, you have been awesome. Have a great weekend, and we'll speak to you soon. Bye! Bye. Star. No, no! <laughs> <laughs>